you know, people are taking notice. And I think a lot of it's down to LinkedIn Instagram, which is, uh, you know, amazing that, yeah. Anyway, so I uh, will now tell you a little bit about our process. Yeah, and we'll get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm sure everybody's sort of vaguely familiar with how animation works, but as we're 99% self-taught, we may maybe we do it differently or in an interesting Or way. wrong, and someone can tell us what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> But so to start with, you know, we design the characters and put together a storyboard project. This is, these are, everything you'll see is from things we've just finished within the last week. So, um, so that was his character designs, so and we put together a storyboard. Typically, you know, we have the client give us complete creative freedom. Um, or usually that's, that's the process we like to, that's the way we like to work anyway. Um, once the client's approved our concepts and the character designs and storyboards, we begin animating do a little cast animation, loose wireframes to sort of plan out all the movement. Um, then Luke animates everything on an alpha channel so that the backgrounds are transparent. And we actually do all the animation, we still do all the animation in Flash, which I know is totally outdated, but you know, it, it works as if it ain't broke, yeah. that fixes. Um, you know, if there's any speech between the piece with, uh, you know, there usually is with a music video. Um, mm -hmm. I'll take care of the lip syncing, you know, they create the, a range of preset mouth shapes and everything. Um, and then from there, um, I'll build 3D stages in After Effects, and once the animations are complete, I import them. We get the basic timing of the sequences down, and I start to refine camera angles and movement. Um, if it needs to correspond to a soundtrack, I'll start to edit that at this stage. And, uh, and once we're satisfied with these sequences, I'll, I'll take them into uh, Adobe Premiere and edit them together and apply a little color grading. Typical editing stuff, you know, sound effects, background music at this stage. Um, this is, yeah, from the music video we just finished. For a white rapper named Cody Allen. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, um, and we've also sort of started experimenting more with lighting. So this is from uh, the Vice animation I mentioned earlier. Um, you can see the start with this animation just floating in space, and then we'll set up cameras and build a bit of the background, you know, insert elements into the background, like that dumpster. Um, throw in some ambient mood lighting, and then spotlighting, it starts to sort of take shape. So this is just a brief clip from uh, the finished product of this. And Ari and I look around Brooklyn for a sedative. Luckily, she knows a lot of bad ballerinas. <laughs> We finally meet up with this girl. She's wearing a cheerleader's outfit for no apparent reason at 3 a.m. in a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot. She hands me the non-brand tentative. I take it. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, here's the finished product that you saw taking shape in this little demo. Um, it's and I guess it's the world premiere of this music video, so don't tell anybody because I don't think it's going to be out yet, but this is pretty <laughs> Alan. I'm, I'm not even sure the guys are actually I've been working on it. 